our next speaker uh, from Southern Maryland, very influential. Well, we, Senator Mac Middleton. Senator, come on. Thank you all very much. I'm only going to take a few minutes of your time. First of all, welcome to all the students from uh, Southern Maryland. Love having you here. My wife is also an employee there, so the College of Southern Maryland has a special place in my heart. Community College as well is where I graduated from Charles County Junior College when I went there back in uh, 1964 after I got out of high school. And believe me, if the family of, struggling family of 14, you know, affordability was a big thing for me and my family about the community college, and that remains so today. You know, the uh, uh, Delegate Lukey said, you've got to meet with your legislators all the time, not just come down to Annapolis. And I will tell you, if you want a good prototype, imitate which College of Southern Maryland is. They drag me in there at least every two or three months to, you know, have a legislative update or, you know, looking at, uh, at, at a degree program. So let me just briefly tell you, this is a very, very challenging year. It's my 21st year here. I've never seen a bigger challenge than what we have. We have a new governor. Maryland uh, has always had a structural deficit for the last eight years. We've always dealt with it. The Constitution requires that we have a balanced budget at the end of the year. We've always had that. But the governor decided that he was going to take this near $1 billion of structural deficit and was going to solve it in 24 hours. And he presented us a budget that does that. And that's a good thing if it didn't mean that very, very important programs weren't going to suffer. And that's what we're finding. You know, we're committed to working with this governor. I think he's got the right message that people of Maryland expect that we get our fiscal house in order. But when we're doing that, we have to work together with him very, very collaboratively. These hits are going to have a real, real hit on the community college. If we don't do something about it, you'll likely see tuition rates go up. The colleges, uh, community colleges didn't get the anticipated revenue that they were supposed to get that follows the K formula. formula. But at the end of the day, we're going to work with them. Maybe we can not take this big elephant, eat it at one bite. Maybe we can just spread and eat it over two years, hopefully. And I met with the governor yesterday, and uh, he's committed to work with us. At least he says he is, and I trust him, because at the end of the day, that's what we got to do. And at the end of the day, as we take and make cuts, we want to make sure that we put the money where our priorities are. And affordable, accessible education especially the education that you get, the basic education that you get from community colleges is important as part of our overall higher education uh, 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 agenda. I just want to thank you all for coming here today. Enjoy it. I'm looking forward to when we break out and right after session to meet with our students from the College of Southern Maryland. And I always love to hear the stories. It's just one of the best events that we have up here in Annapolis. So God bless you. Keep up the good work. Study hard. And I hope you go on, as most of you will, to a four-year institution. You know, there's a lot of work here. I think one of the most important things that we have to do as your legislators for you is to make sure that those courses that you take at the community colleges, when you transfer from, to one of our University of Maryland system universities, that those courses transfer, that they won't be taken for naught. So God bless you. Keep up the good work. Study hard.